So this is the beginning stages of me attempting to build a mini Barbie size version of our master bedroom. We'll see how it goes. Okay, this is what I have so far. I screwed up quite a few times already, but that's okay. It's my very first time. Yeah, I taped stuff on the wrong side, so I had to take it off and now it looks all funky, but I'm gonna figure out how to fix it. So it's gonna be fun. And now I'm going to try and make some curtain rods for the windows and that's the slider in our bedroom. Eventually it will look like, hopefully, look like some sort of window slider. I don't even know. We'll see. But it's been fun. So I just used these chopsticks. I got a Daiso. I don't think I needed that many, but that was the smallest I could find. And I cut them up and painted them. I had some silver beads that I painted also in black and I'm gonna be using those as my curtain rods. And I glued some on here. I have it laying flat this way, but that's like the slider door. And then I'm gluing beads on the ends of the little curtain rods. And I'm gonna glue this onto here, kind of like so. Okay, I picked this up from Amazon. It's cute as it is already, but I'm going to change it up to match my actual bedroom, our master bedroom. This is a cute uh, brand because they have a lot of choices. Cute. Here's the bed ruffle, which I'm probably gonna end up painting. Oh, I love the comforter and the pillows. It's so pretty. I'll probably use this for uh, a different bed or something because I'm gonna have to change it to sort of match our comforter, which I don't have any fabric for that yet, but it comes, it's very Ikea-ish. It comes in tiny little pieces and I'm gonna have to put this all together. But I'm gonna be spray painting it, although I feel sad because I think it looks pretty already. But the whole point is to match my actual master bedroom. I'm so happy it comes with lamps because, you know, we have some in our bedroom. But I'm gonna change these up as well. I think they'll work. They're not exactly like our lamps in the bedroom, but you guys will see. And then I probably won't be using these, so. And then it has the two nightstands, which I'm not gonna be using, but you can see right there but I probably won't be using those for our bedroom. I'll save these for some other room. I'm sure I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna fill in these little holes because I'm not gonna be using the, the little decor that you could add to the bed because um, my bed doesn't have that. So, I mean, it's not exactly like my bed, but that's okay. So I'm gonna use some Play-Doh. Okay, I'm gonna put these little little knob things and, and then I'm gonna sand it because my bed is actually just like a little round decor on the end of the bed so I'm gonna try and sand the top of this one and see how that works hopefully I won't ruin it but I'm gonna paint it so you know we'll see what happens so I got some little pieces of fabric from Daiso I love Daiso it's my favorite place it's my happy place and I'm going to try and make the bed comforter for my little bed. So I'll probably use one of these. This one's a little thicker, so I'm not really sure. This actually might work more for like a sofa cover or pillows, like toss pillows. So here it is pretty much complete. There's a little bit of artwork that I'm gonna add to it. I did paint it, which it's foam that I use and I shouldn't have because it started buckling in and now I know, little lesson I learned. So I'm not sure if it's gonna last. If it doesn't, I'll just redo the walls. The paint actually matches our bedroom. So I kind of wanted to match it as good as possible. The little rug is, I think, like a bath mat from Daiso. I kind of cut it up. Those are from Dollar Tree. The little 
uh, they're two separate dressers. I might end up just kind of filing the insides to make them more flesh because I actually have like a long dresser, a little Buddha, a little jewelry box. It's supposed to kind of replicate my little Himalayan salt lamp I have in there. And the jewelry box I got from AliExpress actually has little jewels in it. It's cool, they're kind of glued in there, so. Uh, little Buddha is from AliExpress as well. Like I said, I actually just made this. Got like a little stone and glued it onto a little wooden round base. The mirror is a candle holder. This I didn't really finish it. I should have finished it better, especially when you look at it from the side. Uh, it's just cardboard, just to kind of frame it. Our bedroom mirror is actually attached to our dresser and it's square, but I don't know, I found this circular one. I'm sure they have square ones. If I find one, maybe I'll just change it up, but for now that works. Um, maybe I'll paint this. I'm not sure to match the dresser or maybe I'll stain the dresser to match that. We'll see. Curtains I made just with some fabric. The cloud paper is just craft paper from Michaels. And then Hubby usually has, his nightstand's kind of messy usually. And he usually has his little action figures or pop figures, but I found these miniature um, Star Wars figures because he's really into Star Wars. So I just thought I'd put those there because it kind of goes with the flow. And then the lamps, just painted them to sort of match ours. I made the bedding. I kind of made it like a reversible uh, comforter. And then the bottom was pink. I just lined it. The mattress is kind of funky that it came with. It's just cardboard. Little bear that I got from Hobby Lobby, I think. These little lights I got because I act we actually have little twinkle lights on our bed. They actually work. There we go. Ta-da! I believe that was Dollar Tree. I can't remember. Some of the stuff I've had. So it's funny when you start doing little miniature stuff, you just end up, you kind of get an eye for things now. And I see stuff that you could probably use to make miniatures or just stuff you have at home. And you're like, hey, if I kind of cut, this was actually really long. So I cut that up to make it fit better. And then same thing, little curtains, the same little paper. Okay, since it was kind of buckling in, I added this, my kiddo kind of gave me the idea just to add like a little beam. I didn't glue it on because I figured I could take it off easy in case I need to get in there and change furniture and stuff without having to get this in the way. So it's kind of helping because this wall was actually like caving in. Well, they all kind of were, so we'll see. I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. I had fun doing it. I mean, like I say, sometimes I get a little stressed because I'm like, ah, I wanted to come out perfect, but you know what? No, it's all about just having fun. So that's my finished uh, master bedroom and it's all Barbie size. I am going to add a couple little things, so maybe I'll just add some pictures or a little bit of video of what I've added. I'm pretty proud of myself. I think it came out pretty decent. So here it is with my little mini-me. I try to find a Barbie that kind of sort of looks like me. Her hair was curly. I had curled it. And of course, she's wearing a Hello Kitty shirt because, you know, I actually own a shirt that looks like that. Oh yeah, and then I kind of added some jewelry for her, kind of matching. Super sweet friend made these for me. Uh, which I think came out beautiful. She's so talented. And I wear them pretty much every day. So I wear them quite often. So I thought we would match. So I got her some little matching bracelets as well. I usually wear, not all the time, but I wear some silver hoop earrings often. So I got her some hoop earrings to have her look kind of similar. I'm in the process of figuring out how to get a little ring on her to kind of have like the wedding band or wedding ring. This is the final touches that I added to our little mini version of our bedroom. I added some artwork, just basically took a picture of the actual pictures that we have in our room and just printed it in a smaller size. I did the same with some pictures that I have on this Barbie clock. Uh, it was purple and I painted it pink. I might've talked about this clock. Uh, I think I got this from the Barbie tour in Santa Monica. I think that's all I added was just the little pictures and artwork. There's a little hair clip, little makeup case. I need to do a better job at painting the wall next time. And a little alarm clock. Our little twinkle lights that we have on the bed. My little chihuahua that I don't actually own but would love to have. It's my little dream dog. So in my little mini world, I have one. I thought, how fun would it be to make a mini version of our 
of our bedroom and why not try? And I don't know, it was kind of easy and fun to find little goodies that would match. So this is it guys, I hope you like it. I'm pretty proud, it was fun making it and I will be making some more little projects in my little mini world and I will keep you guys all posted.